Hello everyone, it's Halima from Afghanistan. I wanted to share my secret for looking younger. I do get compliments and my doctor says that I'm aging 10 years younger. Wish it was 20 years, but I don't walk 20 miles. I'm sorry, two miles a day and do cardio three times a week, which I should. Anyway, so you could really extend your life even more. But I'm going to share my um, secrets for uh, looking young. Number one is not to worry about things and let go of stuff uh, <clears throat> and whatever it takes so you're not uh, unhappy about things. Um, for example, when my grandma died back home, I didn't want to get very upset. I mean, I was upset that she died and I miss her dearly but I pretended that she's not dead. I know I was in denial, as my little sister would say. Um, but so try to um, uh, focus on good memories. Now, when my parents died, it was it's still very hard. It's been over, over a year, but um, I tried to comfort myself, but I saw them, I saw how, how, what, how what happened to them and you know how they suffered and, and then um, when, when they died, I didn't see them dying, you know, in my front of me because I was not there. But um, I, it was very hard. It's still very hard. So I tried to comfort myself, you know, by wearing their clothes or smelling their clothes. I used my mom's brush to brush my hair and I talked to her, same with my dad. And I kissed their their picture and I just do stuff to help me and um, before I go to bed I want them to show themselves in my dreams so I wish for that and then I do dream them not all the time but sometimes so the key is to focus on good memories and not get upset on little things if somebody makes you upset forgive them so number one secret of looking young is um, being happy like I want to live long so I always laugh and smile I even tell jokes to make other people laugh I'm very kind I like to give people hugs and if somebody's upset I try to cheer them up so try to you know be kind and laugh and be happy laughing is the number one secret in longevity um, of the four people that showed up on Dr. Oz's on YouTube they were there looking half of their age. He didn't know, mention this, but I noticed that they're all happy people. They're all laughing, even when they're telling their secrets. Like one was putting her face in ice water. The other one was using sunflower oil before going to bed for her skin. Um, the other one was making pancakes with flaxseed and coconut flour and coconut, um, uh, shredded coconut you know uh, uh, with it and some protein and um, another one was using um, plums I guess plums too and um, um, <clears throat> and another one was uh, drinking grass uh, you know the wheatgrass juice two glasses of it so I talked with a nutrition she didn't agree with the uh, the wheatgrass because he, he's a nutritionist at my gym and he said that that's hard, hard to digest you know so he agreed with the um, ice water for your face because I guess it tightens your pores and stuff we just pick basically put your face in the water I have not done that so anyway back to uh, my things that I do that I have done I'm 61 years old and I basically um, I think I look very good for my age. That's my my figure. I'm not heavy. I'm trying to get rid of some of my chunk on my stomach. I do have some left handles, as you can see. And but I'm trying to go to the gym three times a week, or you know, uh, to do some cardio. And um, so I weigh 135 pounds. And um, I try to exercise as soon as I see that I don't fit my clothes very well. I try to eat less, exercise, and I try different methods to see about how I can lose some weight. 
So I fluctuate between 132 to 138 right now. When I was younger, up to I think age 40, um, I was in the 120s. Before I got married, I was what, 115 pounds. But anyways, so the number two reason, I guess for looking young, I guess, which is for your skin, I have very dry skin, so I try to put you know, coconut oil or uh, some kind of oil on my face because it's um, dry. Now I do um, have you know wrinkles around my my mouth and around my eyes because I do squint sometimes, and you know of course I laugh a lot. So um, anyway, and so number two reason I for looking young is not to gain weight so try to eat healthy i've always eaten healthy sometimes i eat fried stuff or even like sodas i used to just a sip or something but try to eat healthy and anything that doesn't agree with you don't eat it keep track of what makes your upset your stomach upset or whatever so change your diet you are what you eat so it's very important and um the latest trend is that eat four times a day and eat the four groups. You know, we've got the carbs, your uh, protein, and your good fat, whether it's avocado or coconut oil, you know. Uh, so eat healthy or good, you know, a little bit of uh, grass-fed butter because your brain does need fat. And um, <clears throat> anyway, so I do that. I've always taken vitamins, different vitamins, vitamin E, you know, calcium, multivitamins, so I do take my vitamins. I know they say you don't, because I don't think you can get all the stuff that you need from food. Um, so try not to gain weight. Try to stay in the chart for your height. Like I'm five, three and a half. I used to be five, four, but I've shrunk a little bit. So try not to um, gain. And if you do, just watch it, because you do not get fat overnight unless you have some health issues or some medications making you gain weight. Uh, so I try not to take medications. You know, I try to like heal myself naturally. And, um, you know, like if I have a headache, I just drink more water. Uh, if I have upset stomach, I just, you know, eat ginger. If I have a cough or something, I drink a lot of water. But sometimes I do take over the counter medication for like for cough or cold or sinus and stuff but now I've come up with some natural remedies for you know healing yourself faster by taking good bacteria like the 400 raw, raw, raw probiotics a little bit of vinegar with water or cranberry juice with turmeric that even heals UTI so anyway so I don't do that and um, uh, number three is for my face I clean my face. I've done it for many years with Naxima. I sometimes leave it overnight. That helps with pimples. But um, while I brush my teeth, I leave it on and then I wash it off. Um, and then any kind of cream is good, you know, for your your face as long as you keep it moist. You know, they say avoid the sun. I do go to the sun because it you get your vitamin D naturally. So, anyways. Um, uh, I also, what I do is, um, whenever I eat fruit, I learned this from my aunt. She was the uh, hairstylist for the queen of our kings, our Shah in Afghanistan. And she taught me that whenever you eat a fruit, and the juice of the fruit, put it in your face. So I do that and leave it for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, and then I wash it off. So that helps. And... Um, the other thing I do is I try to exercise, you know, like if I'm waiting in line, you know, for a movie ticket, I just, you know, jog in place. If I go to the bathroom, I try to do like a hundred jumping jacks. Um, and like if I'm coasting, I do setups, you know, where you're moving your knees toward your stomach, you know, or dance to some good music. So it's all being active is very important. I'm, I'm on my feet. From when I get up until like bedtime, most of the time I sit down if I eat some food or, you know, I'm doing something, but so I'm on my feet all day long. Um, sitting down, even in your chair, you can just, if you have a sit down job, you can between calls, if you're in a call center or if you have some free time, 
you get up and stretch and you can use your hand to move your whole body up to do workout on your arms you can press your arms against the wall to do you know um, bicep basically push-ups and stuff on, on your hands definitely jumping jacks walking in place even with you washing your hands you can just do uh, movements so it's all about movements and um, I do eat healthy you know um, fresh in my country there's no cans there's no uh, junk food uh, there's no processed food so I grew up with good food by season you know a donkey comes by with um, you know, a load of spinach or a load of pomegranate or apples or what have you. So you get all of your fruits and vegetables from a carrier on your street. Uh, and um, meat, I think, once or twice a month I had meat. And we even ate the fat sometimes. But um, And then um, lots of vegetables. I love fruits and vegetables. I could probably live on that. When I came to the U.S., my doctor, I was having stomach issues because um, my stomach would hurt and I have sensitive stomach, so I can't have wheat or white rice or even tomato sauce. I love fresh tomatoes. I eat that every day if, when it's in season and stuff. Of course, in America, you can get a lot of the fruits all year long, so that's the advantage. But in my country, you could only get it, you know, when it was season for, for stuff. So anyway... Um, so try to eat healthy, uh, do some kind of exercise at least three times a week, you know, go do a good cardio. I mean, walking is good, but your heart needs a good cardio. So do that and um, do the movements. Even if you don't have time, just make time for exercise. You know, who cares what people think if you're jumping in place or exercising or moving your hands, you know, um, what's important is that you're healthy and you're living long. And also try to socialize, do the stuff that you love. Like I love to dance, so I go to Oasis, for example, Sunday nights, dance. You know, just go by yourself. There's people that would like to dance with you. And if they don't, just do dance by yourself or Central Market or whatever in your area might have, you know, fun things. Go, if you like waterfalls, once a week, you know, go when the weather is nice to a park and watch the wa waterfall and just go for a hike. Do the stuff that you enjoy, okay? You only get one chance in life. So do the stuff that you like. Socialize. I talk to people even if I don't know them, you know. And sometimes I even make new friends by just talking to people. Um, what else I do? Um, I talk to animals, you know. I talk to my daughter's cat. Um, we had a dog. I talk to the dog. So it's good to, you know, communicate. And if you don't have anybody, just do that. But get out of the house, do things for yourself, and enjoy life. Okay, I love cooking. I do cook. You know, I've got a lot of YouTube videos. If you guys like to check it out, there's good rice recipe. I really amazing carrot cake. I also have um, cookies and so forth. So I need to come up with a cookie with no sugar in it. You know, they have the no sugar thing that you can add, but I want to use like maybe applesauce or something. So. When that comes out, I'll let you know. So subscribe to my channel, pass it on to your friends, give me a thumbs up if all these tips helps you. Um, and I have some exercise tips as well for you. I even have given you guys a list of the vitamins that I take. So just watch on my videos. I have tips on healing. Um, and um, you know, I love working with plants outside. So seeing greenery is good for your mind, you know, read uh, fun things, whatever inspires you to, uh, um, you know, um, be happy. I watch funny movies. I don't like horror or, um, you know, sad or stupid movies. I always like funny movies or, you know, comedy or romantic uh, or action. I like action movies too. Um, or um, documentaries, you know, to learn about different things. I used to not like history, but I like it now. You can learn a lot of stuff on YouTube, you know. So, um, hopefully I didn't leave anything else. But um, I also, another thing I do is I try to only eat when I'm hungry. And, and while I'm eating, 
Um, it does take me a long time. I used to eat a lot slower, you know, but try to eat slower, have a little bit of drink with your meals. And if you're trying to lose weight, um, you can do it. Pretend you're uh, uh, poor and you can only afford like a saucer uh, a size of food for every meal. Just do that for a week your stomach will shrink and then you want to eat more. You don't even need like a stomach band and all of that. And don't let anything get to you. As long as you're alive, you're happy. It's okay if you even have hanging stomach or hanging flabby arms or whatever. And what's important is you're alive. And just enjoy yourself, travel, do all your things that you want to do before you're 50. That's my advice. Because after 50, things change. Anyway, good luck to you. Thank you so much for watching my channel and you all have a wonderful day. If you have any comments, let me know and subscribe so you can get updates on my channel. Okay, bye-bye.